Hulka becomes involved in this situation because the the 17th Street Blips, uh, which is a mixture of the Bloods and Crips, um, they he thinks that they have broken into Rel's apartment, uh, thinking that it was his apartment um, because he had he had there is some bad blood between him and the Blips, so uh, um, it's it's very possible that they were coming after Hulka's apartment but accidentally broke into Rel's apartment and, uh, and then took Keanu. Hulka is, is very immersed in the, in, uh, hip hop culture, but like the, uh, like classic hip hop. And, uh, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, I, I had to have these cornrows put in, uh, it was, among the most painful things I've ever gone through in my life. It, it, it really, it's hard to describe. Unless you've had cornrows, you won't know. But it's, I guess everyone knows what it's like to have their hair pulled. Well, having cornrows put in is like having someone pulling your hair for two hours, two straight hours, just pulling it till it hurts, and then wrapping them around, and then tying them off in a way that they are pulled permanently. And then you're, then you got this little section, and then all of a sudden there's another section they're pulling, and they're doing that for twisting that for like two hours. They're being put in. They finally finish, and and you're you're it's like a facelift because it everything's pulled back, and you it drives you crazy, and I, it's hard to sleep. I didn't. I, it was the worst <laughs> the worst thing ever. I had the best experience, and and I had to fight against the the pain, the hundred percent pain all the time in my head. Uh, so that, that really shows how much fun it was to be on this movie that even that couldn't, couldn't, uh, bring down the experience. It's just a delight to work with them. I, when I first was going over there, um, uh, my uh, coworker, Kristen Shaw, um, at the last man on earth, she said, you gotta get a hug from, from key and I said okay and and I went over there and I, I didn't re really understand what she what she was talking about and then I said I guess Kristen said I, I have to get a hug from you and and then he gave me the most just luscious hug of all to, he's just the a world-class hugger he's really really good it, I, it's hard to describe you just got it like it, put it on your bucket list it's it's a it's a a really wonderful hug and the working experience is kind of that that hug is very emblematic of of uh of uh the working experience because you feel like you're in their embrace the whole time eventually hulka gets uh kidnapped by the blips and uh um, the next time we see him he's in the trunk of a car and they're bringing him out. He he thinks he's safe. He's very excited, and then they throw him in the back of this truck where there's a 18 foot python, and he's freaking out, uh, uh, right, rightly so. The other thing that was terrifying was was uh, Peter Atencio, the director. He pulled me aside right before the thing had a very right before we shot the scene, and just gave me one of those. Um, if you are uncomfortable with this in any way, you don't have to do it. And that terrified me because I was like, if there was nothing to worry about, he wouldn't have had to say that. Like this is, this was a, a very clear sign that he knew that this could be the last time he was talking to me. Um, and I, I, I thought that there, it'd be a pretty ass kicking way to go to be killed by a snake on camera. If you're going to go, that's the way to do it, right? I have eight, an 18-foot python is enormous. You probably couldn't even lift it up. I don't, I don't know how many pounds it is, but it's, it's just, it's, you know, parts of its body are about that thick. And it's freaking terrifying. So, uh, you know, I'm in there, and they, you know, if, if we didn't have a safe word, then they wouldn't know what part of it you know it could just be me flipping out in character but uh me flipping out in character and flipping out as as myself are very similar <laughs> uh uh 
I scream in the same like girlish way. <laughs> I loved working with uh, Peter Atencio. He he uh, came to the Last Man on Earth, uh, my uh, TV show, and and uh, uh, directed uh, one of the episodes of the first season. So we loved him and and uh, um, wanted him to do more. But but we heard that he was directing this, so he he couldn't. So um, I was really excited when when they called to to say that uh, they wanted me to do this part.